In this episode, we're going to see how the Picasso light tips can be selected and initiated. We see here a provisional crown that's come off, and there is tissue overgrowth in the distal. Higher magnification, you can see the tissue is going to prevent the crown from going back in. Pick a disposable tip. In this case, it was a 90 degree, 10 millimeter long tip, and you can see the package 25 here in the box. Remove the tip and remove it out of its package and make sure that the pieces are all connected. The multi-tip handpiece, the cannula, and the tip should be secure, snug, and well-fitting so there are no gaps and the aiming beam is clearly seen. You then bring the laser over to a piece of Bausch articulating ribbon and touch it either eight times through the paper or brushing it gently back and forth as you can see here. What this does is initiate the tip and the sides and you'll see as I bump up the magnification and look at the tip that there is initiation or a darkness in the last millimeter both on the tip itself and on the sides of the tip. This allows you to use the laser, the diode laser, in, initiate, in initiated format to ablate tissue. You can see here at high magnification how in Wayne Selting's research 60 to 80 percent of the tip will be covered using this process. You're now able to bring the tip back over to the tissue and make sure that it is properly initiated. If you step on the foot pedal just for short periods of time you'll see quenching which is an incandescent glow which tells you that the tip is ready to go. You'll see this twice here. I caution you not to overly um, quench the tip, there's once, there's twice, for just a brief second, otherwise you can melt the tip. So you just initiate it and in a short dragging motions you can remove the tissue on the distal aspect of the, <clears throat> the crown uh, margin. This will allow you to re-cement the temporary crown on without having tissue in the way. The settings here in this particular case were roughly 0.9 watts and again I encourage you to start in the 0.8 to 1 watt region which is often uh, more than adequate for uh, these kind of procedures. You can see we're removing a little bit of tissue tag here on the distal, and then we're good to go, and we're able to resubmit the temporary crown in place. It's really important that any time you're using the laser for gingivectomies or anything in contact when you're removing tissue that you do initiate the tip properly. You can see here the finished result. And finally, the temporary crown replaced. Until next time, this is Dr. Glenn Vanass saying goodbye and keep lazing. It's amazing.